Hi, hello and uh, welcome you all for the beginner's mentor. It's been a long while that we have uh, come up here and spent time by solving machines, right? So let me go ahead for the try hack me and look for any machines that we can solve and any things which we can learn new. So uh, first let me open the browser here. I think you guys are doing good pretty much like um i feel sorry for that i have been released any videos for the last two to three weeks because some of work and uh, new changes were there in my life i would say and presently now we are going to look about <coughs> the most uh helping platform to learn about uh cyber security so let's go ahead and type in for try hack me already i have have them in my top site history that i have visited more times so let me go there for try hack me dashboard still runs takes time yeah we got our dashboard here we got our try hack me profile here everything is here What's the rank of mine? Mm -hmm. The lights white and check whether what's the rank of mine. It's loading, still loading. Yep, six lakh forty-four thousand people are there, and we are in the eighteen thousand. Pretty much good, good, appreciating. And for a guy who didn't come for two to three months to train hack me, still stays in the same place means it's somewhat um what do we can say? <clears throat> somewhat I feel so sad that people are not engaging with things. Okay, fine. Let's do head and go and learn more things. Whenever we should keep the things always learning mode, right? If you are not keeping the things in your learning mode, then you will be depreciating. Because I felt depreciated for the last two, two, two to three months. So now we are going to practice for our experience level. They have kept some four to four machines, I think so. Four to six machines are there. And future machines are somewhat or six machines are there. And popular machines which are running here are four to six. No, four, eight machines are here and in the some of the missions which we have already completed so let it be let's go ahead and give the first click to the first machine called blog blog joel may billy joel actually billy joel made a wordpress blog from here itself we got to find if we are going to exploit wordpress so what happens with these vulnerable machines available online in the train hack me they will be giving the most precise idea in the front which we have to got in our minds because uh, we are in the learning path now we should know to learn from the things which we see there uh, okay fine we got our blog uh, machine opened in front of us now our turn to restart uh, our machines to get into the machine before the hand we have to read the information or the introduction which has been given by the author like billy joel has made a blog on his home computer and started working on it it's going to be also awesome enumerate this box and find two flags that are hiding in it billy has some weird things going on his lap can you maneuver around and get what you need or will you fall in the tomb? Will you fall down in the rabbit hole? In order to get the block to work with the AWS, you will need to add block.thm to your etc host file. Credit host to Skooky for root privacy idea. Fine, he has also thanked the guy who has given a idea to keep the privilege escalation level as stuff. Fine now we have got our machine here and probably uh, most beginner guys will be facing the thing and uh, will be thinking how to get connected with try hack me right so for them i'll be giving you the proper idea um if you if you are going on top if you are going on top 
here i have my ip address shown to you but what i what you will be seeing if you are not connected to tree hack me you will be seeing a tab called access the machines so you need to click this once you click it you are disconnected uh, with try hack me like that it will show but now for me it is showing you are connected with the open vpn so what you need to do is uh, i'm connecting it with open vpn why i'm connecting with open vpn i'm using kali linux and i wish to have experience on my laptop so i connected with the vpn so what does open vpn mean you can see these steps and you can follow the steps as blindly as you can so you just you have to download your open vpn configuration pack oh, click download and you will be getting the open vpn file in your downloads folder you can see here my name comes and open vpn file is there once you downloaded it it will be in the downloads folder so what you need to do is run the command in your terminal to uh, to install the open vpn into your system once you installed it and you have to open the downloads folder in your terminal and run the open vpn file like now i'll be showing it to you all right let's open the terminal change your directory to downloads oh let me zoom in for you it will be pretty much good run let's go ahead and for the downloads folder and list the files available there so what are all there we have downloaded the hanesh vpn hanesh.vpn file which is open vpn file what we are going to do is open vpn just a command open vpn and you have to give the configuration file name as it is so once you given that please press enter your open vpn connection configuration will get run and you will be resulted with initialization sequence completed if you are seeing this then you are good to go with and for the new terminal to start our uh, enumeration process and information gathering and as it is the first um, and main thing which i wish to take from the introduction is if you are whatever be the uh, plan or the plot which you are going to do against some target we will be focusing only on the information what we are getting from the initial point so what are the information which we have got from the initial point first i would say the wordpress billy joel has created a blog with wordpress wordpress is a platform where we can find a bunch of vulnerabilities vulnerabilities against it so what are we going to do is we can find the vulnerability and we are going to exploit a vulner uh, vulnerability and we'll be getting into the system that is the thing which is going to happen you have to do the raw plan in your mind once you got it the next thing which you need to know is you need to know the information so what i would suggest you to go ahead and grab the first and best tool in the world to find and gather the information about the target machine or the attacker machine we need to go ahead is nmap so start the nmap and let me give you a brief about nmap nmap is network mapping tool which gives you the information which were available uh, in the network or what we can say the nmap does the gathers informations for you and it will show you in a script manner so we can raise the flags in the nmap like now i have raised many flags we, we are having many flag uh, which can be raised in the nmap to get the information whatever we want if you want the operating system you can uh, raise a flag which is hyphen o so like this we have many flags available inside where you can use the flags to get what the information you want we will be getting to know all these things in the further upcoming missions and from the initial point you have to know some precisely two to three uh, flags which will be easily and helpful for you to get access so what i would say first is hyphen sc which gives you the proper uh, what we can say which runs all the default scripts which it has to run and it will be giving you the results what the next one is hyphen sv which hyphen sv means the version so this 
this uh, flag will give you the information about the services which were running in the system and also the versions of the services so what i would suggest to you to go ahead is please go ahead with these two flags always and we have uh, some other one which is called hyphen a which is the aggressive mode which gives you the all the detail and all the information which are available uh, against the target machine and uh, what are the information available to your uh, what are the information available about the target machine to your system in a full proper manner but aggressive mode runs in a very heavy manner so i don't suggest you to run it always in your uh, network now it's our duty to start the machine first and we need to get the ip address also right so let's start the machine here <coughs> once you start your machine you will be getting to see the ip address here you can copy it and you can paste it in your terminal to run your nmap and perform things at all so the ip address will be given to you and you can access the machine from your terminal Precisely, Nmap also helps you to find many things. Um, we have Nmap scripts available. So let me show Nmap help. If you wish to know more about Nmap, just do man Nmap. You will be getting a brief introduction about nmap network exploration tool and security port scanner also so most probably why are why are we doing nmap here is we are performing the information gathering to know much more about the target right so here uh, whatever be the uh, services which were running in your system they are running in the ports which were opening in opened in your system so port scanning is very must so if you are running a service of smb which is a messaging uh, server messaging block so if you are running the smb protocol then it will be running in your uh, port in your system with the port number so whatever be the services which runs in your system they run in your computer with the with the specified port so you you have to scan the port and you have to go get to know what the service is running in the port to exploit the service and get into the system so description for the nmap nmap is open source tool for network exploration and security auditing it was designed to rapidly scan large networks although it works fine against the single host it works very fine with the single host i would say um nmap uses raw ip pockets so you can read these blah 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 things at all let me go ahead and show you these things i told you right hyphen a is a aggressive mode of scanning this will take you to see all the things which were available uh about the system like what we can say about the target machine so you can see the port number is 22 here and it is open the port is open what the service is running in the ssh whenever the port 22 is open the ssh will run we know it but the port num in the computer we have the port number 22 is open and the service ssh is running so uh, what what this information gives to us we can get to know this like the port number 22 is open means we can run an exploitation against a service called ssh likewise we have the port 80 is also open so you can see the port 80 is also open and what service is running in there their http service is running we have the server which is what's the server apache server is running and the server version is 2.2.14 we can find the vulnerabilities available in the like vulnerabilities available against the apache http 2.2.14 from the google and you can run it against the http server itself we can find many other informations i will be detailing you all these informations from our blog nmap results so let's go ahead and quit if you want to know more about the nmap i request you to please go ahead and give man nmap in your terminal this will give you the proper information that you need to know about the nmap fine let me clear this space for us to yep that's good uh, let's go ahead and check for our ip address so our ip address is 10 10 252 and 56 so what we have to do is you have to copy this copied 
and go to your uh, terminal now let me open the terminal <coughs> open the terminal and run in map hyphen small s and capital c which means you have to run the default scripts and next one hyphen small s and capital v which means you have to find the portions which were running in the uh, versions of the services which were running in the system so and then now you have to paste the ip address which you have copied so for the beginners i would say you need not to worry about how to copy paste things in the terminal if you are just control if you are just giving the control plus c you will not get it right what you have to do is you have to press control plus shift plus c to copy things from your terminal or if you want to paste things into your terminal what you need to do is you have to press control plus shift plus v so whatever you are giving as normal as control plus c you are just going to add the shift inside also so once you have pasted your ip address you are good to go and press enter now now our nmap starts to run let's wait for the results and we'll be analyzing the results soon now let's run the nmap for a while and we'll be waiting for the results and before the nmap uh, sources the results let me show you a bit about uh things there so you can see that your machine will expire in 48 minutes and the seconds are running here what it does mean is you only have one hour to break into the machine if you are doing it so much then you will be getting regret so um, what i won't say that you have to hack into the machine or you have to break into the machine within 48 missions or the within one hour like that and all you have to keep your pace with learning what the things you are learning first it will be helping you to uh, access more so i would suggest you to not to uh, give your eye on this just go ahead and learn things very first you can start the machine whenever you are uh, closing it off like if you are if you couldn't run the machine if you couldn't uh, what i would say if you couldn't complete the machine for the one hour then you can terminate the machine and you can begin the machine again from the first so you need not to worry about that you can run the machine n number of times as you want and if you are learning things right then you go to go so these timing things and all don't consider now and you have to focus only on the learning things and please after a while if you are very confident about that you can go and give a give an eye to these things at all okay now i think our nmap has completed the results and it shows as i would say <coughs> port 22 has been open fine and port 22 is open and the service which runs there is ssh which is secured shell so now the nmap has given us the results let me show you the whole result it is the full result of nmap what what the result and how are we going to uh, get the information from the result i'll be taking you line by line you have to know things line by line so first thing the nmap started and the next is the second thing the title for the nmap that is a report for 10.10.252.56 .10 and the host is up we know the host is up because we are the ones who has started the machine and not shown ports these are 996 ports or closed ports which means um, there are no services are running on the port and the port is closed only the four ports have been opened uh, the opened ports and the scanned ports will be listed to you and the ports which are closed is shown here is 996 ports and they are closed the first port which has been opened there is 22 and the port runs is tcp protocol and the state is open and the service which runs there is ssh version open ssh 7.6 p1 and ubuntu for ubuntu 0.3 so what does it mean ssh is the secured shell connection which helps us to uh, share information to the other computer and you can also uh, do remote logins from the other computer to get uh, access to the target machines or the target system so what does it mean the secured shell is the protocol or the thing which shares uh, your uh, files through the ssh which encrypts your data actually the ssh is encrypts your data and shares it with other people on the network so it provides two key pairs public key and private key the host key is here right 
has been designed to identify the computer they are, that means the host key gives you to identify that is it that it is a real computer and the host key is um, unique for each and every computer on the network you can see the host key is encrypted with rsa and ecdsa and are also the we have ed25519 protocol also so these are all the things which encrypts our key and it will be shared with other computer which are available on there so this host key is used to identify a computer which comes to share the things with you or you are going to, if you are going to share things with other computer also this host key will be shared to identify that it is really a computer and while uh, public key and private key will be shared the public key will be given to the clients and the private key is still stored in the server because uh, the private key will be stored in the server means it will be searching the database of the private key of the clients which they are going to share the documents with them so this is what about uh, this is what all about the ssh connection and the private key and public key and the host key next we'll go ahead for the second port which is running port 80 and the port is open the service which is runs there is http which means hypertext transfer protocol which is a web server apache web server is running there and the version of the web server is 2.4.2.29 so what does it mean which means whenever you see the port is port 80 is open and the http service is running in that then me, then it surely means the back in the back end there is a web page is running in the target machine so what does it mean the web page is running in the target machine and it may use the server of apache httpd and the httpd that means the web page is generated by the wordpress 5.0 we already know that the um, the HTTP generator is the WordPress 5.0 here and the HTTP robots.txt. What does this robots.txt mean? What we do, we will be hiding some web pages from the uh, from uh, viewing it to the people. So what we do, we whatever be the website or the web pages which we don't want to show it to the clients or the which we don't want to show out, we will be keeping them in the robots.txt file so what does it have it has one disallowed entry which means we have only one web page which we do not have access to open is wp admin what does it show it's like the user of this computer who is the web, uh, web page creator has only one web page which is wp admin which we can't get access to it only the admin get access to it and which HTTP server uh, is the header? So HTTP server we already knew it is Apache four uh, Apache two point four point two nine, and the title of the HTTP, which means the web page title, is Billy Joel. And here you can see Ash three nine. What does it mean? It is the color of the title, and you can see here Billy Joel S I T blog, and it is in some other color. Uh, the IT blog is also there. So these are all the title which were available and the different colors are also here given by these numbers. The next port which has been opened here is 139 and the port is TCP Pro, with Pro port has a service of TCP and it is open. We have Net, BIOS, SS and Samba and what does it mean by this? Net, BIOS means Network Based Input Output Service. So what does it mean? So Samba, if you are seeing Samba there, it is a SMB protocol, which means SMB will give you um, what we can say, share the information to people. Like SMB is like a messaging pro messaging thing, uh, but in a secured manner. What does it mean? SMB will be used to share files uh, with the with other computers on the same network or else SMB will be used to share things with other printers or the scanners which will be available on the same network fine SSH does is it also shares but it also it is used to get a login into the system which will be used by the system administrator to get access to their system uh, here SMB uh, does uh, share the files uh, with this, uh, with other computers or with other printers available on the same network. Now, uh, you can see this NetBIOS SSN 
is has the samba and the smbd is 4.7.2 these kind of things are there so you can see this the host script results here this will show us briefly about the smb you can see here now the netbios name that is a network basic input output service name is blog and the netbios user we have unknown we have unknown user there and the netbios uh, mac we don't know that also here the smb os discovery which means the os runs in the system is windows 6.1 and it runs samba 4.7.6 which is the smb uh, that means server server message block and the computer name is blog and the netbios computer name is blog slash x00 and the domain name is x00 and system time this everything is here and you can see the smb security mode what does this security mode is going to tell so the account used by the user is guest and the authentication level of the account is the user level and the who is the user the guest is the user and now the challenge response is supported what does this line mean to us the challenge response means the when the smb gets connected with other file uh, with other printers or the computers which were available in the network whenever it is getting connected if it will check for the uh, key which is available but if it is not finding the proper key inside is host key inside of it it will give the challenge response which is your uh, computer is not registered with this uh, sorry uh, your computer key is not connected with mine what should i do or else it will shows the user that this kind of uh, computer is not connected with us what should we have to do whether we should accept the connection or should we have to reject the connection so we need to know that the challenge response is like that and now message signing what does this message signing mean message signing mean so whenever the uh, uh, information gets shared on the computer network through a uh, smb each and everything has to be signed by the other computer whether they have got it or whether the information is coming from the proper computer or not now we have the only one option here is message signing is disabled which means the computers which are sharing with our host machine our target machine need not to give their uh, confirmation that they are the real ones fine sometimes the message signing can be enabled and not required which means the message signing is enabled which is rec uh, which is needed but you need not to do it like that so what does it so it again results in the same situation you need not to give the uh, proper information about the in uh, computer which you are going to share but sometimes the third configuration is message signing is enabled and required which means you must sign whatever be the information which you are sharing and you must confirm that the message is coming from the real system after this smb2 security mode shows us message signing is enabled but not required can you see which i have told you already message signing is enabled but not required which means you you need not to give the proper in confirmation about the things or the files or the information which you are going to share to the target machine fine uh, again the smb time of the system has been given and it is a start date everything is not applicable there a service detection uh, sorry service detection has been performed we already knew that and these are all the things which comes from nmap like please report any incorrect results like that and all you need not to worry about that and now the nmap is done for only one ip address which we have given and the host is up the scan which has completed is 46.37 seconds it took to show us the information which we have learned till now i think i have given you enough information which we have gathered with nmap and i have given you the proper introduction about this nmap things at all we have gone through each and every line on this nmap if, if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section then i can easily be guiding you in that itself fine so let's conclude this session for nmap alone and we'll be beginning with attacking the our enumeration process in the next video